But the fact is, whenever I speak to people, think about this. When people are in a line in front of me needing to be healed, I can release life and power one of two ways, generally. I can touch, however we want to grab hands and touch the head, and I can, but now understand, whenever I'm touching and releasing life, it's because I am choosing to believe and what you believe you are saying. So when I lay hands, even if I'm not saying out loud, I am saying to myself the same thing the woman with the issue of blood did. She said to herself, and I'm saying, be healed. So even when I'm not speaking, I'm speaking. Why? Because I'm thinking, and I'm thinking in words, and I'm thinking in alignment with God's word, and I release life. Now, the other way to release life is also to speak words. And when I say be healed, then I expect, because I believe, that person's body, their system, whatever it is, to be changed. Now, it can be changed instantly and completely, and sometimes it can be changed instantly inside, but it takes a little bit of time for the death to drain out and for the life to take effect. Now, that's exactly the way it was with Jesus with the fig tree. He spoke. He commanded it. He didn't say die, but he said, no man will eat fruit of you henceforth forever. And so essentially he was saying, you will never accomplish what you're here for, so you might as well go ahead and die. And at that time, the life of that tree was cut off from the ground itself. And it took about 18 hours for that tree, for all the life in that tree to drain out and for it to die. It started then. They didn't see it then. They saw it the next day. So it took overnight for the life of that tree to leave and for it to die. So sometimes there can be sickness or disease in a person. Every sickness and disease has a life of its own. If you look at it, there's always something in there that's moving and is alive, whether it's a virus, uh, whatever the, the germ is, it's alive. It's not a dead germ, okay? It's not a dead virus. It's alive in you and, or for how, whatever it did to the body. And so whenever I lay hands and I command you to be healed, what I'm saying, what that germ, what that virus is hearing is, I'm telling their body to be healed, therefore this virus must die, and then it will leave. And when the virus dies, the, the, the limbs, the leaves on the tree will show the death, meaning life will be filled in the person, and the person's body is seen healed. Does that make sense? Okay, now that's, that's how healing basically works. Now, 